Uh, hi. Walking Dead episode. Still. It's a loop, that's all it is. Just still. So, um, this is, uh, a Beth and Daryl exclusive episode. And it doesn't really showcase anybody else of the other survivors. And, uh, right off the bat, uh, two things. One, I, I like the way that this, the, the new way that they're doing the episodes because, um, you get to get more in depth and talk a bit better with, uh, all the survivors. And then, um, also, this is a weird episode. It's, it's a weird episode. I feel like the payoff was, was good enough, but, yeah, it was just weird. So, um, you know, it follows Beth and Daryl as they go out, and in, in the very beginning of the episode, they end up, for the night, hiding in the trunk of a car, and waiting out the zombies, and the zombies just all disappear by the sunlight. And they're walking around, and they're, uh, they make a camp, and Daryl cooks a rattlesnake that he skinned. He cooks it, and and uh, Beth wants a drink. And when she means a drink, she means alcohol. And then, and um, yeah, that was the first weird part of this episode. So just like the the last time we saw her in Daryl, she goes off on her own, and Daryl ends up finding her and just tagging along on her adventure. She's going to try, you know, to find booze. So they end up at a at a the golf club, and she, they find peach schnapps, but Daryl's like, yeah, you're not, that's not going to be your first drink. So he finds a redneck cabin, and he finds moonshine. So they, they clear the place out, and um, then the, they play a drinking game of ice, you know, where she tells the truth, if he's never done it, she drinks, or if, if that she's never done, if he's done it, she drinks, and the same back and forth. And they do it a couple times, and then she says, you know, after a couple shots of, uh, Moonshine, she says, oh, I've never been to jail. And that kind of sends Daryl off. And Daryl goes on this. He, he kind of goes fucking nuts. Like, he takes Beth outside to shoot, and he's being loud. He's attracting, well, at least a wall. He tracks a walker. And then they get in this really, really long yelling match with each other where he's like, you know, I'm not your guardian. I shouldn't have to look out for you and all kinds of other stuff. And... And eventually, it boils down to probably the most powerful moment of the entire episode, where Daryl just kind of admits that, like, he's just, he feels that almost, he thinks he could have done something, so he blames himself for what happened at the prison, for Herschel's death, for everything. And he kind of gets over it. And, you know, Beth comforts him a little bit, and then at night, they're still drinking a little bit, and uh, we find out what Daryl did before the apocalypse, in which we find out he literally, he was just a drifter with his brother, and he followed his brother's instructions, and they just drifted around. And that's really cool that, you know, Daryl just wasn't like, oh, he was a taxidermist, or he wasn't just a, a cop. He just drifted around. You know, that's what it was, because, you know, the whole what did you do before the apocalypse thing was uh, was, uh, was part of the, the first episode of the season. Um, forget the, the kid's name. It was Beth's boyfriend at the time, and so, they talk about stuff, and Daryl's like, you know, the, the, this house reminds me of my childhood, it reminds me of everything, and she goes, you need, and Beth says, you need to let go of it, and so she convinces him to use the rest of the moonshine, and they burn it to the ground, and they, <laughs> so it's really funny, I saw a funny post where, it's like, oh, you know, we're gonna build the only shelter we've found in a long time, you know, Beth Green, I'm like, oh, wow, that's kind of funny, but it's the symbolism of Daryl letting go of his past, you know, he's not in his brother's shadow anymore, he's, not the guy who he used to be, because he can't be the guy he used to be, the guy who only cares about himself. He has to be the new Daryl, which is kind of weird. Um, yeah, like I said, overall, this episode was just weird. I mean, Daryl's upset, I mean, Beth's obsession with finding, uh, liquor is weird. I think it's, it's her growing up, because, I mean, she's what, she's 18, somewhere around the age of 18 at the time of this, so, I mean, it's, maybe it's her growing up, and, you know, she says, you know, I want to get to grieve this way, and you like bashing zombies' heads. That's how you grieve. I'm going to do it this way. And that's what she says. That's what she tells Daryl when they're in the, the, the golf club or the country club. And um, it's cool, though, because we, we finally, it's the first time since the second half, since the mid-season premiere, that we've seen Daryl smile or be happy. You know, he's just been a sullen, just hard ass for the past couple episodes and now he's 
he's opened up. He's, uh, you know, he's, I guess he's maybe forgiven himself because, you know, he, he did have a little bit of grief there. So I just think um, this was, a, in the end, I think it was a good episode. I know a lot of people, a couple of people I know were like, ah, this is a bad episode. I don't think so. I think this was a good, I feel like this episode was worth the payoff. Like, you know, this episode was, a, this episode was pretty good. So, um, I'm trying to try to think of anything else. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's basically the episode. We, we, I mean, like I so said, we, we didn't really know too much about, about Daryl before then. And honestly, Beth is, at least since, especially since season two, Beth's never really been a focus of, of anything. And we never got to really hear how she is, you know, and. When Daryl goes off, you know, he he calls into question all her shortcomings. How she's lost two boyfriends and can't cry. How, um, you know, she tried to commit suicide in season two. You know, just all the things. And it was just weird. Like, but the payoff of, you know, getting, I guess, the old Daryl back or the old Daryl back is really cool. And um, I just hope to see that. I mean, next week's episode is supposed to be, you know, Maggie and... Uh, it's supposed to have Maggie in it and, and her group and then more Daryl and Beth. And, I mean, it's just a weird episode. Um, I will admit that somebody did say something. If they add a, a thing of, like, a romance between Beth and Daryl, it would be kind of weird. But then again, Beth is older than I thought she was because I looked it up and apparently she is 18. So, I mean, I guess it's okay. But um, it would just still be weird. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was an okay episode. It's definitely the weirdest Walking Dead episode I've seen yet. So, um... Yeah, you know, you should watch it, check it out. I mean, if you have, you know, On Demand, they might even have it on Netflix already. I don't know. Just, you know, watch it. You should definitely, because it's a good episode. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.